All right, chip of the day. Um, we have a TM1637. So if you are from Arduino land, you may have run across these before. They're very popular in Arduino land. Um, so what is it? It is an LED drive board, or drive uh, circuit uh, IC. So CMOS, it can do uh, eight segments times six bits. Don't you love the, uh, oops, sorry. Don't you love the Chinese uh, deciphering of these things? Um, it means uh, it's, an, it's a seven segment display plus, um, plus decimal point, or just eight segments, and then uh, six bits, which means six digits. Um, so you can have a six digit eight LED display. Uh, key scan, you can also have a keyboard. So before we look at all this stuff, we can look at a sample sample usage. Uh, they even give um, they even give the code in here, which is kind of cool. All right, so this is what it can do. Let me move the camera down a bit. There we go. Um, so here is the chip. You talk to it with just uh, clock and data. It's 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 write only. And then you can have one, two, three, four, five, six displays. These are seven segment displays plus decimal point. And you can have a, a four by four uh, switch re uh, uh, matrix and you can read that. Uh, so it's a pretty fancy part. It, um, it, it, it does uh, scanning, right? So it's a multiplex display. And while it's multiplexing, it's scanning, it's scanning these uh, segments, right? It's multiplexing uh, the digits in the segments. And the segments come down here and also are also uh, scanning the uh, scanning the switches, and then they're read by K1 and K2, uh, which are over here. So uh, that's the way it works. Uh, let's go ahead and try one out, and then uh, take a look at some other things. So here is a, uh, a little dark, isn't it? Make it a little bit brighter. Um, here is an example. We need five volts. Let me turn on the power supply. So I'm using an AT Tiny 814, one of my favorite chips. And then this is a module you can buy, and it has the, the chip in the back, right? So this is a four digit display. So this is a real simple implementation of this particular part. It even tells on here which Arduino library to, to use, and we'll go look at that. The Arduino library TM1637. Hey, just like the part. Um, and so it needs uh, 5 volts ground clock and data. And so I have put that on the board here. So let's plug it in. Clock and data are going over to pin 6 and 7, or IO 6 and 7 on the Arduino. Um, and uh, let's hook up 5 volts. Uh, red goes to red, black goes to black, and we will turn it on. So there we go. Let's see here. All right, 23, 123. It's just showing off the, uh, the values here, and it it's um, a program that is available when you download the Arduino library, okay? Most Arduino libraries will come with example programs, okay? And this is the example program for this Arduino library. Like I said, we'll go into the office and uh, I'll show you that. But you can do all kinds of things. Uh, it's all addressable. Every single s segment is addressable differently. And um, yeah, you can do all kinds of things. Talk to just the decimal point by itself. And then you can actually adjust the brightness, the brightness of the LEDs. Brighter, brighter, brighter. Uh, how many, probably 16 levels of brightness or something on this thing. I don't know, I'll have to read that. I'd have to read the guide. Um, you can watch that while I find out. Um, 
display control. Yeah, 16 different uh, 16 different settings. Not actually 16. You can do 1, 2, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 out of 16. So only eight different settings for brightness at 16 different levels, so kind of weird thing. And then we're done over there. Okay. So let me sh let's go over here, take a look at the data sheet again. Let's see. All right, so there is a, a control register or command register and then data and uh, the mapping of the bits, it's an eight by eight, uh, eight segments and uh, six grid, six, six by eight, I'm sorry, six by eight, all of the bits in there. Uh, we can control scan data, uh, addresses, test mode. That's interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here it is. Here is the... Uh, Set pulse width, just strange things, eight different ways, again, uh, and then e e just all on and all off. Um, flow chart on how to program and everything, but like I say, one of the great things and not so great things is in Arduino land, it allows you to just go in, get one of the things, and it works. You download the library, you're done. Save so much time and, and frustration and everything. It's great. Um, but you never learn the, the hardware, right? Um, so, you know, it depends on where you're coming from. I, 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 like, I like both spaces. I like the space where I don't have to think, and I like the space where I just I understand every one and zero and, and uh, voltages and everything, right? So my channel is try to tries to get into the middle there somewhere where, you know, the people in Arduino land don't know anything about electronics and the engineers know too much about electronics. And I, I kind of try to get in the middle here. But yeah, let's go take a look at how one would uh, how one would set this up in, in an Arduino uh, uh, programming environment. All right, uh, let's see here. Um, if you're on, in Arduino land, you turn on your program here. Um, we are going to go to sketch include library and up at the top it's manage libraries. So here you're in manage libraries and you look to can see all the libraries and stuff, but you can search for them so you can filter. So remember we had a TM16 something or other. We forgot what it is, right? And uh, let's see if we can't get this thing to... Huh. Oh, there we go. We have to keep typing. I guess it's just not finding it. A TM1637, and it found the um, it found that library. Now I already have it installed, so this button here that says remove would say install, and so you'd click on that, and then it would install that library, right? Okay. So once you get that library installed, then you could go to file examples. And then you have all kinds of examples and, and all of your libraries are down here and you go all the way down. You should find a, uh, right down at the bottom here, TM 1637. There's only one file here. So we'll click on that. So this is, a uh, here's our new, uh, program and we have, uh, the, uh, library loaded right here. So if we tried to run this without loading that library, we would get an error. And then in order to use this for your application, you would need to do a couple of things. You would need to assign where you put the clock on the data. Okay. In my particular case, they were at six and seven, right? And then you would have to tell it what board you're using. So I think I've showed that before, but you can come here and you can say, okay, I'm actually using a um, uh, AT Tiny board, and it is um, AT Tiny. Uh, and then you would look to see if you for the one you've got, and the one ending in one four is what we have. 
Where's the one ending in one four? Did I go over it? One seven, one four. It's always hard to find these the first time. Let's go back up again here. Uh, yeah, here we go. This one. So this particular library handles all these parts. And right here is the 814, if you can see right here. So you have to have that loaded. And then you have to have the right COM port wherever you, when you plug in your programmer, and you have to have a, U, a UPDI programmer for this particular device, you need to know where that COM port is. All right, so that's how all that works. And then when you actually uh, get ready to compile this, you can't just press these buttons up here. They won't work, okay? I do a Shift-Control-U, and Shift-Control-U compiles this, this sketch and then automatically tries to find the programmer and program the device. And you can see it failed here because it wasn't attached to the board. So I'll go back and attach it to the board. And then I should be able to find the part. So I do Control Shift U. And it should compile the device. And then it found it. And it um, it downloaded the part to the uh, to the 184 and the yeah, AT tiny 184. So that's that's there all there is to do it. Uh, we can kind of look at their program, this demo program. They set up a matrix here for the, all the segments and um, you know, here's one that wasn't that wasn't allowed, but it does all these things you saw it on it. You can look through here. That's why they have the examples. They put in a whole bunch of different ways. Here's where it sets the brightness. Um, on, off, test. And then display, segment, segment, done. Okay. Remember, it, it, it displayed done. So let's take a look at segment done. Um, it should be defined up at the top here. And yeah, this is it here. Segment done, right? So segment done is all of these bits. This, you know, this and this and this and this and this, all the bits that you want set, and it spells D-O-N-E. So there you go. Okay, well, that was Chip of the Day, a TM-1637.